Here is the bag I bought in September. Um, return, refund, closed out on October 30th. Uh, my son loves the bag. He loves, loves, loves the bag, except it is already starting to rip. Um, has about a two inch rip already right there. Hey team, just wanted to show you I had a new update on bags. This is my traditional backpack. All the tears and see-through stuff on it. I have uh, gotten it repaired before, but this is a Swiss gear. The reason I liked it is it had these big deep pockets on each side. Had plenty enough room for my laptop, my computer. Many, many years on it. So it came down to two different alternatives. So this is an Oakley kitchen sink. I had seen it advertised a whole bunch over uh, time. So ultimately did not like it because in order to access the main portion of the bag, except with one exception that I'll show you, you had to remove these. You got to flip this and it does not like to just flip out of the way. And what it is, it's a great feature. It's a hardened piece where you can put things like headphones, uh, smartphones, things that you don't want to get crushed, but you got to fold it all the way sort of back and out of the way. And it's pretty robust. It has these cords on it. Then you can get into the main part of the bag, laptop part of the bag. This piece can then be unzipped. Once the main part is out of the way, then you can lift this. So that particularly, the idea that you really have to remove this to get to both the main part as well as into your small pocket just ruled it out it did have pretty decent side bags on it however those side bags it has an overlapping piece here and you have to kind of flip that out of the way or also to get caught up in the zipper i can see it probably makes it more weather resistant and it did have some mold type grabbing system so I could put like a camera stand or a big water bottle. So one of the nicer parts of this bag is the under bag here. So you can put dirty clothes, probably muddy boots, shoes, things like that. And it won't contaminate the rest of your bag. The back I liked as well. Has a lot of this sort of foam cushion area it looks like it could actually be uh, ventilated pretty well has your back brace and support so the caveat about getting to your main bag is it does have a side pouch here that lets you go straight into the very back of the main bag which is generally where you would store your laptop or tablet so that's the purpose of that one so overall still good looking bag looks very durable you know, has uh, these things, not sure what I was going to do with, with those big things there. But that is the Oakley kitchen sink. So ultimately, the bag that ended up going with is this Crocher, K-R-O-S-E-R, Crocer bag. So I can access the main part of the bag without having to lift anything. So... In addition, it is pretty darn sizable in here. I think it's 40 to 50 liter sort of bag. Uh, in this back back here, I have a camera stand holder as well as a 17 inch uh, laptop, holds it no problem. 
I have the charger for the laptop is down at the base of that as well and it has a few different divisors in fact in addition to the laptop it's got a section where I've got my tablet and the velcro goes completely over it to hold all that in position so main compartment is on point well I got it flipped around back here it has a bottom section where you can store so in this case that's a GoPro mount so in addition I'm sure you could keep secure objects in there and I believe this has RFID protection it's got a luggage strap so you can put it down onto your rolling suitcase I've got the uh, straps on here kind of zip tied up because I got them where I want them. The chest strap across is very practical, helps to distribute that weight on the chest. And it does have some of the cooling ridges back here for air channels with the thought of that. But the strength of this bag is in a division of the pockets. So starting from the very, very top, this is for eyeglasses. So this is the only one that I put a lock on because it's going to be purely a convenience lock just to keep somebody from instantly grabbing something. Any of this stuff is easily bypassable, cuttable. So in here, flashlight, extra glasses, some business cards, and generally anything sort of glassy that I want to protect that could crack and break all at the very top side up here. Zippers are... Pretty standard zippers, they're not the fancy heavy duty ones that I see on some YYK or YYZ. I might have rush on the brain, but the uh, second pocket down is actually a fairly big pocket. And in this section, I actually have VR goggles, my VR controls, my microfiber. It has a spot for storing like a battery piece. This section is also the section where the wire for the external USB charger is located, and that's what I have in there. I have a, a brick tied to it. 